Here I've got a nice problem which I have adapted from an old problem on an Indian math Olympiad. Okay, so let's see what I came up with. We want to find all natural numbers x and y such that x squared plus 4y squared equals xy minus 14 squared. Okay, so let's jump into the solution. So first off, what I want to do is square out this right-hand side just to get a handle on maybe some simplification that can occur. If I do that, I get x squared plus 4y squared equals x squared y squared minus 28xy and then finally plus 14 squared, but 14 squared is 196. So I think maybe the first obvious thing will be to complete the square on the left hand side. And so we can do that by adding 4xy to the left hand side. But so that we haven't changed the equation, that means we also have to add 4xy to the right hand side. So let's see what that leaves us with. Over here we have x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared. And over on the right hand side we have x squared y squared minus 24xy plus 196. Okay, well, this left-hand side kind of obviously factors. Notice it factors like x plus 2y quantity squared. Now we've got to decide what's the appropriate thing to do to the right-hand side. Well, if we could write that as a perfect square, then we'd actually be good to go. We could take the square root of both sides. But if you look at this, this is not a perfect square but maybe we could write it as a perfect square and then a constant and then see where that takes us. And actually that's pretty possible. We can take this 196 and write it as 144 plus 52. And then doing some grouping, we see that what is in these green parentheses is actually a perfect square. That's because 12 squared is 144, but 12 plus 12 is 24. So let's factor that green parentheses as x times y minus 12 quantity squared, and then left over we have plus 52. Okay, nice. Now let's move this over and then we'll see that we have a difference of squares on the right or left hand side of the equation. So in this case, it's x plus 2y squared minus xy minus 12 squared equals 52. Now using the standard difference of squares factoring, we see that x plus 2y plus this stuff, so that would be plus xy minus 12, times x plus 2y minus this stuff, that would be minus xy plus 12, must equal 52. So just to reiterate what happened, think about all of this as being capital A squared, all of this as being capital B squared, and here we have A plus B, and here we have A minus B. So again, the standard difference of squares factoring. Okay, let's bring this up and then we will finish it off. So on the last board, we saw that our given equation is equivalent to the following equation, which only has a constant on the right-hand side, so that's helpful. So we've got a factored object on the left and then we have 52 on the right, but we can factor 52 three different ways. One times 52, two times 26, or four times 13. Now we're gonna do a case-by-case -case analysis of this. So let's start with the factorization of 1 times 52. So in fact, we have to try two versions of this, although I'll only try one and leave one for homework. I'll first try the version where this guy is equal to 1. So let's maybe put a green box to say that we're exploring that thing that's boxed in green. So we've got x plus 2y minus xy plus 12 equals 1. So that's one of our possibilities. That makes this thing right here, the other part of the product, x plus 2y plus xy minus 12 must be equal to 52. Now, how would we like to solve this? 
Well, we've got a system of equations, so maybe we can explore standard strategies for solving systems of equations. Notice if I add these two equations, I will cancel off these two terms. We'll have minus xy plus xy cancels and 12 minus 12 cancels. That leaves us with x plus x is 2x, 2y plus 2y is 4y, and then 1 plus 52 is 53. But now that should immediately look like a problem because this left-hand side is definitely an even number, whereas this right-hand side is definitely an odd number. Well, 53 is obviously odd. Over here we have two times x plus 2y. So that's definitely an even number. But that means there's no solution based off of this first case. And notice that we could flip who is playing the role of 1 and 52 and come up with the same result because we took this sum to get 53 and you'd end up with this even and odd conundrum no matter what you do here. Okay, so now that we've seen that this possible factoring is not possible, let's move on to this 2 times 26 factoring. So maybe I'll put a square of blue here to show that that's what we're working on. Okay, so I'll take this first guy or the second guy and say that's equal to 2. So we've got x plus 2y minus xy plus 12 must be equal to 2. That means x plus 2y plus xy minus 12 must be equal to 26. Now we're going to play the same game. So let's uh, reduce this by adding the two equations. If we add the two equations, we get 2x plus 4y equals 28. Notice that's not a problem yet because we've got even things on both sides. We can divide by 2, leaving us with x plus 2y equals, let's see, that's going to be equal to 14. So let's put a box around that. And then we'll also subtract these two equations. So maybe we'll do the second equation minus the first equation. If we do that, we'll have 2xy, and then negative 12 minus 12 is minus 24 equals 24. Okay, but then moving some things around, we immediately see that x times y is equal to 24. So I'll put a box around that as well. Okay, so we're kind of running out of room. So let's maybe get rid of all of these calculations and we'll finish this case off. Okay, on the last board following our blue factorization, where this second term was two and this first term was 26, we came up with the following two equations. Okay, so let's see if we can solve these. Maybe I'll take this guy right here and solve it for x. So that means we get x is equal to 14 minus 2y. And then we can take this value for x and loop it into the second equation. So that means we'll have an equation only for y. So we'll have 14 minus 2y times y is equal to 24. Multiplying this out, we'll have 14y minus 2y squared equals 24. Then we can move some things around, divide by 2, and we'll be left with the following quadratic equation for y. So that'll be y squared minus 7y plus 12 is equal to 0. We can factor that pretty easily. So that's y minus 3 times y minus 4 equals 0. That gives us two possibilities for y. So we've got this possibility when y is equal to 3. Notice if y is equal to 3, that means x is equal to 8. And then I'll let you guys plug that into the original equation to see that this actually works. So this gives us a solution to our equation. Furthermore, we see that another possibility is y equals 4. If we get y equals 4, then x is equal to 6. And again, I'll let you guys plug that into the original equation to see that that is also a solution. So we've got two solutions so far. Maybe I'll write them as ordered pairs over here. We have 8 comma 3, and then we also have 6 comma 4.
And now are there more equations? Well, let's see what's left to check. We would need to check the case when this object is equal to two and this object, object is equal to 26. And we'd also have to check this factorization of four times 13. I think immediately we can see that this factorization of four times 13 will not work for the same even and odd consideration that we saw up here. And I'll let you guys work through some of those details. If you wanna put them in a comment, that would be great. So that means maybe what I'll leave you for homework is to check the other, I'll put it in quotes, two times 26 case to see if we get any other solutions from that. So just to reiterate that other two times 26 case is the case when this is equal to two while this is equal to 26. Okay, that's a good place to stop.